Hi everyone, this is Phil from statisticsmentor.com and in this video I'm going to show you the basics of managing a session in R. Right, when we've opened up the R window, this is what we have, a blurb, and then we can start a session. Now, now once we kind of create it, we want to save some output, we want to save it to a particular folder. If we go to File, and save one save the workspace which I'll explain shortly what that means what you see is by default the R will look at under a particular particular directory which is not nice to work with I mean we could kind of click to get to the folder we want but there's an easier way if we go get WD for working directory and the braces R tells us the kind of folder it's looking in so it's looking under C window system 32. So we create a folder that we like to save all our stuff in. Say I've created here our stuff under C directory. So to get our to work with that folder, that directory, I'm going to type in set w d working directory and then in the brackets type in the path C. Now let's do backslash R stuff is my folder. Now this isn't going to work because watch backslash R is in record and recognize escape command right character. That's because R interprets the backslash as if it were an escape character. So how you get around that is in Windows is to set type WD and instead of putting backslash you can put in double backslash where you would put a single backslash or could just use with forward back so forward slashes so let's do forward slashes forward slash there now that should be set so if I get to W working now look in the working directory there sure enough and if we go under here file say I want to save something it's now looking under the right folder Now with this way of doing it, once we've closed our session, we've closed R and we restart R, it will look again at the default directory. So set working directory only works for our session. However, if you've got working with a machine at home, not a, not a university computer, you can set the path permanently by doing the following. You go to your R icon, right click, this is for Windows, look under properties, and where it says start in, set that. You can see, as we talked about before, in Windows they use backslash for between these folders, which works except for if you're actually in R, the backslash doesn't work. We're not actually in R, so we may use the backslash. Backslash R stuff is my folder. I click OK. Um, you will need to provide administer permissions to set, do settings. Okay, since it's my machine, I've got permission, and that's why this wouldn't work if you're using a college computer. Okay, and then I never need to, I would never need to do set working directory again, because anytime I close this, say, let me close this right now, and let's just restart the thing. Now if I type in get working directory, our stuff. All right, so we've set the directory, we start running a session, and then we want to start saving stuff. Now there's two types of things we can save. Let's we can save what's called the workspace, and you can save what's the history. The difference is that with save history, R saves the list of commands that you type in. Save workspace saves the objects that you create. It doesn't save everything that's dumped onto the screen. So let's start a very, very simple session. Let's just use it like a calculator. Let's create two objects, A equals 1, so B equals to 2. And then we know that um, A plus B will be 3. There you go. What do we mean by objects? You can imagine objects like boxes that contain information. Every time you... Yeah, so I've created two objects here, A and B. To see that indeed that these are objects, go LS for list, braces, enter there these are objects A and B 
say at this stage I want to save my save the objects that I've created I go to I can do it two ways if you like the point and click method you can go file save workspace looking at the relevant directory now the for, for the workspace the um, the suffix is dot r data and if you type r dot data you'll see the r icon in your folder the other way is to use the command called save dot image followed by the name of the file within the braces okay for people who are newbies especially to computing they like point and click so say I use point and click file save workspace our data let's call this the first session first session save as type R data okay and you see that it has created the command that you'd have typed in otherwise of course since we already set the working directory you, you wouldn't have had to type this first bit here R C R stuff you could just type in the first session however what you can see under here is that it hasn't given the suffix r.data so if we go under here now you can see, see first session it's not got an r <coughs> icon there so what would have been better is if we had gone file save workspace and called it first session dot r data since it doesn't put that in for us which we have there now it's actually in there so if we look under our folder it's got that this is what I mean by the icon so you can see that that's a R file let's get rid of that one because it doesn't have the suffix there okay next thing is that we might wish to save the history as well by history I mean the list of commands that we've typed in so to do that go save history now the suffix for history is dot r history so let's say call this first session dot r history save look under my folder first session r history now let's close this r and restart it so close I can just close it usually or you can use the command q quit the thing say it will always ask you to save image I've saved it already so I say no now let's restart the thing right I've restarted it so I wanna open my workspace because say I want to continue with the work I've done this is why I would want to load it and go load workspace it's looking under the relevant directory because I changed it and the icon click double click on file I wish to open for a session there. Now it doesn't look like anything has happened because it just says that it's loaded blah 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 which tells us that instead of using the point and click method we could simply have typed in load and then the path in the brackets under speech marks. But if you type in ls for list the objects you see a and b appears because that's what were created in the first session how about the history okay same thing we can go to file load history first session dot r history open okay it doesn't appear as if anything has happened but if you type in history in the brackets enter a new window comes up and there you are all the commands that we typed in earlier now appears. Now what we have to bear in mind is that his, this history command just obtains the around the first 35 commands lines of commands that we've that you've got in your file so if you've got a very long file to get all the commands to appear you type in history open brackets max dot show equals inf close brackets 
and then that would give us all of them here it's not going to do anything because well same gives you the same output because we've we don't have that many l m list of commands so in terms of the absolute basics I've shown you what you need to know set the, up the working directory which is optional but makes life uh, easy for you um, save the workspace save image saving history saving the commands for more advanced users you can know that you can save instead of saving all the objects you create as you're working going along you might create rubbish and you don't want to save particular objects you can select which objects to actually save also some of your instructors won't like you just to type in all commands and then just save save the history why is because as you're going along sometimes you make typos and um, which you don't want to save so here we've saved everything including any kind of mistakes I've made um, one way to get around this if I do it this way is I can delete this the list of commands and resave it otherwise what you could have done is as you're working along as you're going along you could have set up a uh, let's say script which is just a box here and you would first type in the command in this box command blah 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 and then you would paste it into R and run it so in other words you just save a cleaned up um, list of commands in this R editor alright okay so that's uh, pretty much the basics of managing a session okay, all for now hope that's been helpful